had kind of a stressful day. Um, my car got stuck multiple times in the snow. Then it wouldn't start, so I brought it to the mechanic, and it's going to get fixed. But I didn't have a way home, so thank God the mechanic's girlfriend gave me a ride. But as soon as she dropped me off, I realized that my apartment was locked, and um, my key was on the key ring at the mechanics. But I live in above. I live above a. Uh, what am I trying to say here? I live above a business, and they always keep spare keys. So thank God. Thank God. Somebody was working today because it's Saturday. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I love this. So if you couldn't tell, I'm gonna open my Ipsy bag with you guys. Just for some fun. Okay, I got this brush in my Ipsy, maybe the last Ipsy bag or two Ipsy bags ago, and I seriously love this thing. It's soft, but it's still kind of dense, and I use it for contouring. I have this contour that's really dark, but I still like the effect it gives me, and it really gives me a nice blended color. It's not too concentrated. This will be my new highlighting brush, perhaps. This is a really cute lemon bag. I think this is probably by far my favorite Ipsy bag so far. Ooh, the first thing I see is a Tarte product. Base tape, hydrating primer. Ooh, yes. I love the little caps that Tarte has. That has a nice coconut smell. Wow. I got a lot of primers nowadays. Oh my gosh. I went from having two NYX primers that I bought at Walmart to having like three or four top shelf primers. So this is exciting. I like having primers, especially small little travel ones. Of course, everything in Ipsy is a small little travel something or other. The next thing I see is Nomad, a champagne reef it's called. First of all, this packaging is very pretty. Cute. Oh, wow. Okay. Golden Shimmer Eyeshadow with extra fine pigments infused with coconut oil to help hydrate skin. Okay, let's give it a good old swatch. Oh, wow, that is creamy. Damn. Okay, not gonna lie, I don't like this. <laughs> I just don't care for, first of all, I hardly ever do eyeshadow, but I just don't care for gold. I think this is like... I don't like this. I mean, that's just my opinion. I don't like the shade, you know, like the formula feels very smooth. It's definitely pigmented. Yeah, not my thing. Okay, can't win them all. Let's see what this big box is. Oh no. Oh, that's on the box. Okay, I thought that something spilt, but it's just the way the box looks. So this is a nail polish from Pretty Woman. Last time I got a nail polish, I wasn't crazy about it, and then I put it on and I was crazy about it. This is pretty. Wow. Let's paint a nail. Let's see. Okay, so it's sheer, but I'm sure you could build it up. This is a really pretty color, and actually I'm probably just going to paint my nails this today. Oh, I like that a lot. That is like the perfect color. It's like the perfect combination of pink and kind of purpley. Wow. I'm digging it. The last product is a body butter cream triple citrus blend from Delectable. Give it a smell. Hmm. Oh, do I have to... I was like, why is, why don't I have a scent coming? Why don't I have anything coming out? Ooh, that is thick. It says it's whipped. I don't know exactly what they mean by whipping something, like a yogurt. Maybe that's just like giving it the extra whirl around. Okay, not bad. I'll rub it in with the eyeshadow. Why not give my hand a nice little shimmer for the day? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Oh, I love cracking my fingers. This has like a, a familiar scent to me. I just can't exactly pinpoint. Oh my God, I forgot I was wearing nail polish. It smells like something that you just get like get at Bath and Body Works. Great, okay, I'm very pleased with this box. I like everything I got except for this, but whatever. The bag is super cute. So now I can add this to my collection, my ever growing collection of bags, but this would make a really cute, quick, easy going out bag for the summer. Thanks for watching. I know I have not literally posted in five months. Um, it was just a long, cold, depressing winter. So I just didn't really have any motivation to post. I feel like I didn't have anything to post. Now I have a whole bunch of ideas. I'm gonna be posting some like mystery style videos, some like opinion based on, I guess, social commentary, kind of stuff like that I wanna start putting out just because I feel like the beauty route is not for me anymore. I do like doing Ipsy just because 
I don't know, this was like a cleansing of my soul because I had a bad day, you know? I do have some fashion videos I want to do. I have a couple pieces in my closet that I want to style and put up for a video. I'm going to start posting more because it's just like a fun hobby, you know? Anyway, that's my little rant. That's why I've been gone for five months. I don't have any excuses. Follow me on Twitter. I'm doing a whole month long tweet every single day type deal. Um, we're already halfway through the month and I've done every single day. So that's great. Instagram is fun. Um, all of my handles are at livesfits if you want to chats. I always respond to everything. Any comments I get on YouTube or Instagram or anything like that, I'm always responding because it's fun. Duh. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, bye.